Does nope get a yep or a nope from me? I'm a little in the middle. Nope is the third film from Jordan Peele and it stars Daniel Kaluuya, Kiki Palmer, and Steven Yeun. The residents of a lonely gulch in inland California bear witness to an uncanny and chilling discovery. Now while I wasn't the biggest fan of Jordan Peele's last movie, Us, I was still looking forward to this movie. The first trailer was setting up to be a, maybe another horror movie with some sci-fi elements. Then I saw the second trailer and I was like, okay this is not what I'm looking forward to, like this is not the movie that I want to see. So I definitely was a little hesitant going into it after seeing some of the marketing materials, but coming out of the movie, I feel dissatisfied and a little disappointed. Now I don't just want to completely shit on this movie, like I did enjoy it, I just came out of it disappointed. Starting off with the positives, it's a very well made movie. Jordan Peele, he's going to give you an experience with every one of his movies. And he continues to prove that with Nope. Jordan Peele's direction and the cinematography in some scenes too, some beautiful shots. I got a lot of Spielberg and Hitchcock vibes coming out of this movie, and that is a great thing to say because those are two of the best directors ever. Another thing that was a big standout, the sound design, some impeccable work. There are scenes where the audio will just drop and it'll be dead silent. Everything just goes to quiet. And you know there's gonna be this, some sort of jump scare. But then there are scenes when, without giving away anything in this movie, I do not want to give away anything in this movie, go into it as blind as possible. There are scenes where that big thing that has a lot to do with the movie and the plot, trying to be very cautious of my words here, but I was sitting right next to the speakers in my theater and they were just booming. And that's another thing, I would recommend seeing this movie in an IMAX theater. The movie was filmed with IMAX cameras, so even if it's just for that, because of the scale of the movie and the sound design like I've been mentioning, that's why I feel like it's worth the price of an IMAX ticket. I mean, watching it, I felt like I was in a ride, an amusement park ride, which is a very rare experience to feel that invested in a movie. I was really invested throughout. Once you get past the slow first act, and there was one scene with Daniel Kaluuya in a barn, after that scene, I was hooked. But also with the sound, you have the brilliant score. There is one scene towards the end of the movie. I was literally getting giddy in my seat. It just elevated that experience to another level. And there's not really much of a score in this movie. It's a fairly quiet movie, at least in the start. But then when you get later into the movie, that's when it really starts to show. If you were going into this movie thinking you were just going to get a straight up horror movie, I'm going to tell you right now, completely get rid of those expectations because this is more of a comedy and a sci-fi science fiction movie more than a horror movie or a thriller. Yes, it very much so has those horror elements. There are jump scares. There are scenes where you're going to be tense. It, there are some thrilling moments. Like, Jordan Peele doesn't completely go away from where he started the horror genre. But this movie is funny. There are a lot of laugh out loud moments. I think that just goes to the writing, but also the performances. And the standout performance is Kiki Palmer. She is hilarious. Her infectious personality really bleeds through the screen. She seems like a fun person to be around and she puts that into her character too. Daniel Kaluuya too, the guy on this poster right here, like we've known that he is a great actor. In this movie, he doesn't have much to work with. Like this is no Oscar baiting movie. He's not gonna get some Oscar nomination from this. I doubt it at least. But that does not mean that his performance is necessarily bad. It's just not the standout. There are lots of nods to previous movies. There's one in particular, The Shining. That's the first movie that came to mind when there's one scene where there's blood dripping. I definitely feel like Jordan Peele took influence from that. There's some incredible imagery. That scene in particular, like it's gonna stick in your head. But also even in the jarring beginning of this movie. And lastly, something to look forward to, especially from a movie fan perspective, there are a lot of Easter eggs in this movie. It is a movie that you're gonna need to simmer on, you're gonna wanna pay attention, there's gonna be some little hints sprinkled throughout in the beginning. But from there, we'll get into my negatives, because as you know, I didn't love this movie. And the biggest reason why I came out dissatisfied, disappointed, because this movie, like I mentioned, I was pretty hooked like from after the first act on because the movie set up so many interesting ideas that had me interested, intrigued. I was like, okay, where are they gonna take this? How are they gonna play on the science fiction genre? And then when I came out of it, I was like, 
Where's my answers? It needs to be payoff for what you set up, and I did not get the payoff. There's some payoff with some crowd cheering moments, some fun moments with some characters, but the whole idea of this movie and what's really going on, there are no answers to be found. Why? I don't really know. This is not a movie that can be left up to interpretation. There is no interpreting to be had, I feel. There's interpreting to be had with us, with some get out aspects. But with this, I'm just confused by the ending and how scenes play into the ending. There's a lot in this movie that I just don't know where it all fits. And by me saying where I don't know where it all fits, I mean I don't know how the first scene in the movie connects to the end of the movie in the reveal. This movie is confusing. You're gonna need some time to think on it. But I feel like after thinking about it for the past couple hours, I'm still confused as to what the hell really this was about. This very much so could have just been a straight up sci-fi movie with the element, again, I'm not gonna get into. It could have just been Jordan Peele wanting to do a Jaws. And if that's what he wanted to do, I applaud him for doing that. But the main explaining that I was looking for was some backstory with this thing that has to do with the plot, where it came from. And there's also ideas that are set up in the movie with some imagery and some symbolism. I'm just left sitting confused. I feel like I need to go watch an ending explained video. And I've said this before on my channel, but if I feel like I need to go watch some video about what I missed and how this plays into this, I'm going to fault the movie for making me feel like that. Don't get me wrong, there are movies that I definitely enjoy that leave a lot up for interpreting. But interpreting can only be had, I feel, when you set up more stuff for the audience to interpret on. There isn't much for the audience to interpret. I just don't know how this makes sense and how that plays into this. Other than that, it's overly long. Some scenes just are played out for too long. And that makes me even more frustrated to say that because it feels like there is a big chunk of this movie that was just completely cut out on the editing room floor. Where that subplots, character depth, character development. For example, Daniel Kaluuya's character has a father in this movie, and you get little glimpses of the relationship he had with his father. And there are some scenes that I feel like they filmed and that played into more of really what's going on. Again, needing more explanation. But I mean, the majority of these characters are pretty paper thin. There's not much depth to be had. It's more so just a sci-fi spectacle movie. That's hard for me to really just be okay with because Jordan Peele has proven that he cares about these characters in his previous movies. He knows how to write fleshed out characters. There's some weird character motivations too, like there is a character in this movie who you see a little glimpse of in the trailer. This guy has a stupid purpose in this movie, you could take him out of the movie, that's an issue in and of itself. But then all of a sudden, without getting to spoilers, the character makes a decision that just came out of nowhere, does not make any sense. There's no foundation that was set up about this character. Very quickly, the character just makes a decision that doesn't make any sense. And it doesn't go anywhere either. I think, and I can only hope, that there was more to the whatever is going on. Some explaining, some explanation for everything. I'm just so frustrated because there is a lot of great aspects about this movie. And before I got to the ending, I was like, this was pretty good. I enjoyed this. I didn't love it, but I thought it was fine. Coming out of it, the more that I've thought about it, the more disappointed I am. This was not a waste of my time. I did not hate this movie. It is not the worst movie of the year. It is a movie that I just wish had more to it. Because for all the Hitchcock and Spielberg vibes that I got, and for how much I enjoyed the sound and the score and the comedic aspects, I enjoyed that it was maybe a little bit more of a simpler movie comparing to, to Get Out and Us, which needs some more deeping thinking. Regarding metaphors and symbolism, I don't think this movie had a lot of that personally. I think it's just a straight up more simple movie comparing it to those two. But they try to make it more confusing. They add stuff that just feels unnecessary. Not only does it feel unnecessary, like I mentioned, I just don't know how it makes sense. Maybe my expectations were just too high. Maybe I wasn't picking up on everything that Jordan Peele was trying to tell me. It's yet another Jordan Peele movie that I feel like needed more answers and it needed to make more sense. I'm gonna give Nope a B. Again, did not hate it. I enjoyed my time with it until you got to the end. And yes, I am frustrated, but if you enjoyed this movie, let me know your thoughts on it down below in the comment section. Did you love it or did you feel a little mixed on it like I was? Thank you so much for watching this review and if you did enjoy it, consider giving it a like as well as subscribing and hitting that notification bell. You can notify whenever new videos like this go live. As always, look forward to more videos coming soon. My name is Ben, people call me Meter, and I'll see you guys in the next one.